So Saturday, my dog was like this, and overnight, she became paralyzed. We called around several vets, and we ended up with a vet that told us she had spinal issues, which was a neurology issue, and it might be IVDD, invertebral disc disease. Quote that she needed an MRI, which would cost around $5,000, and if she needed surgery, it would cost 15000 However, as a college student, this is a route that we were not able to take on right now. As a dog parent, it's really heartbreaking to see your dog go from running around completely normal to being paralyzed, painting, shivering, and even refusing to eat. I saw her grow up for the past four years, and now she's on painkillers and steroids to help with inflammation and pain. If anyone has gone through something like this with their dog, please leave any advice you have. The is overwhelmed, even though we might not be able to go to surgery, since even if surgery is possible, it might not be guaranteed that she can return to how she was before. We still have to consider the rehab process, and explore what that might look like. We've set up a GoFundMe link in my bio if you want to help us out. And right now we're currently exploring other vets in San Diego and even in TJ to see if we can get Ginger feeling better. Thank you all for your support and please share if you're able to. Thank you so much. William.